Assalamualaikum. My name is Aksa Bhatt and I'm from University of Engineering and Technology, Taxila. I'm from the Department of Biomedical Engineering Technology. And today I'm here to present my research work on the topic Emotion Recognition System featuring a fusion of electrocardiogram and photoplethysmogram features. First of all, I'm going to discuss what topics I'm going to introduce. First of all, introduction, then materials and methods, results, and then comes conclusion. First of all, I'm going to introduce my topic that is actually related to emotions. What emotions are? Emotions are actually a state or a group of states of human beings which arise in response to a particular or a specific stimuli from the environment and the interpersonal interactions or the interpersonal interactions of the human beings. Human body also responds to the external stimuli in various ways. For example, their facial expression changes, the ECG value, the EOG changes, EDA changes, etc. It also affects the mental faculties. For example, consciousness, imagination, perception, thinking, judgment, etc. Uh, I'm going to explain about the arousal dimension and the valence dimension discussed in our paper. The arousal dimension is actually the intensity level which ranges from calm to the excitement levels. Also, I'm going to discuss about the second dimension that is the valence dimension. The valence dimension is actually the level of pleasantness which ranges from happy to sad. For example, happy is considered as a positive emotion and negative emotion is considered the sadness or sad emotions. The figure clearly shows the pictures are describing the uh, states of human being at different emotional states. Then comes electrocardiography, that is ECG. We're all familiar with electrocardiography, what electrocardiography is. It is a diagnostic tool that is routinely used to access the electrical and muscular functions of the heart. The heart activity is capable of detecting various malfunctions and also the disorders in the body. The selection of physiological signals that are able to be fed as input to the classification system and then acquiring a particular a good range of accuracy is was very important and this was the important concern of ours so the emotions which have a significant influence on the working of the central nervous system and can be speculated from the physiological signals and those physiological signals which we did pick were ecg and ppg so ecg signal can be detected as a can be used to detect as a basic tool for emotion recognition the figure clearly shows the graph that explains what ECG is actually. ECG is actually consisting of a P wave, a QRS complex, and a T wave. The P wave actually shows the atrial depolarization. QRS complex is used to represent the ventricular depolarization. Then T wave describes the ventricular repolarization. Then comes PPG. PPG is called as photoplethysmography and is actually an optically obtained plethysmogram that can be used to detect the blood volume changes in the microvascular bed of tissue. A pulse oximeter illuminates the skin and it measures the changes in the light absorption. The changes in the light absorption is actually through the light emitting diode and this change in the waveform can be detected and it can, it can be used to uh, detect the changes in the volume of the blood flow through extremities in the body and it also changes with the heart rate. It is related to the ECG of human beings and it can also be used as an identifying tool for emotion recognition as this, the, the figure clearly shows how PPG is actually plotted. Then comes motivation. What was the motivation behind this research? First of all, it is related to human computer interaction. Human computer interaction is actually the way a computer influences the work and activities. Then comes neuroscience. Neuroscience is actually the study of structure and function of human brain and the, also the nervous system, the emotion identification technology, and the psychiatry. It also helps the psychiatrists and the general physicians to treat medical illnesses that are related to human brain and nervous systems. Then comes the literature review. First of all, I'm going to discuss the paper which was studied in 2015, which was written in 2015. We studied it. In 2015, they used EEG signal, that is electroencephalography. Then they uh, used the signals of the MDD patients, that is major depressive disorder patients, and the non-linear techniques were applied in their paper. 
Then comes a paper of 2016. They used electronic metal rap and rock genres of music, and they applied it on 30 patients. They used three classifiers basically: ANN, KNN, and SVM. ANN classifier is the artificial neural network. KNN classifier is the K nearest neighbor, and SVM is a support vector machine. The accuracies which they respectively attained were 87%, 98%, and 91% respectively. The accuracies on the basis of these three classifiers were obtained. Then comes 2017 paper, which was written in 2017. These researchers used RSP signals. They were collected, and an accuracy of 80.22% was obtained. Sparse autoencoder, that is SAE classifier, was used. EEG, EMG, ECG, temperature, BBG, PPG, GSR, and RSP were detected. Then comes 2018. In 2018, entropy features sparse coding and canonical correlation analysis, that is a CCA, was applied to the thermal signals and it is used for the detection of stress classification. Then comes a paper which was written in 2019. Stress and postpartum depression patients were used as subjects. DTs, SVM, and NN classifiers were used that is decision trees, support vector machine, and neural networks. And a 95.8% of higher accuracy was obtained. Another paper was written in 2019. That was, they considered the raw signals and they fed it into the CNN and CNN LSTM classifier that is also known as the long short term memory. And an, and an accuracy of 94.7% was obtained. The topics which I'm going to discuss in materials and methods are data acquisition, pre-processing, feature extraction, and classification. First of all, I'm going to discuss about data acquisition. In data acquisition, the table clearly shows four kind of emotions we took, disgust, fear, happy, and sad. And the number of subjects in each case were five. The age group was 18 to 23 years. And a sample duration of 15 minutes was taken in each class. A sampling frequency of ECG was taken as 500 hertz and that of PPG was taken as 200 hertz. Male patients or we can say subjects were one and the female subjects were four in each case. Next comes the data acquisition procedure which we adapted. For the purpose of data collection, we use a biopack system and the TSD200 graph transducer to acquire the PPG data and SS2L electrode lead set with disposable electrodes clipped to the right forearm, left leg and right leg used to acquire the ECG subjects. Then comes the emotion induction tool. That is how we induced the emotions in the subjects. Subjects were exposed to an each emotional induction scenario for 15 minutes while the activity of the physiological signals was being monitored or recorded. Subjects were asked to watch clips of their own choice, which they think would arouse a particular emotion in them. Virtual reality, that is a VR and a 3D horror video clips was used to generate the emotions of fear. The table clearly shows the summary of the emotion stimulus, sadness, disgust, fear, and happy. The materials and method in this flow sheet, we clearly described how the method flew or how it flows. Data acquisition, first of all, the data was acquired. ECG and PPG signals were acquired. In pre-processing, empirical mod decomposition technique was used, which produced IMFs. Particular IMFs were selected. Uh, we can say ECG. We used IMF1 and 2 of ECG and IMF1 of PPG. Then comes the feature fusion. Uh, the ECG and PPG features were fused together and then the features were extracted and then the classifier that is the ensemble bag trees classifier was used and it produced maximum accuracy and then the four classes of ours that is the disgust, fear, happy and sad were clearly distinguished. First comes the pre-processing. In pre-processing, EMD is a multi-resolution decomposition technique that decomposes complex signals into the oscillating components, which is called as intrinsic mode functions, that is called IMFs. IMF1 contains the highest frequency signatures. The last IMF has the lowest frequency. IMF1 of PPG and IMF1 plus 2 of ECG signal were selected, and the selected IMFs containing the distinctive 
features of emotions. The figure clearly shows the ECG of the channel one, time domain plot of ECG of the disgust uh, emotion and ECG channel one of the disgust fear and then PPG signal of disgust and the PPG sig uh, signal frequency domain plot of the disgust signal. Then comes the IMF plots of the different signals. The ECG signal has this three out of nine IMFs are shown and it is clearly shown that IMF, neither IMF one nor IMF two clearly explains the, uh, the, clearly describes the signal, the actual signal of ECG. So we fused the together, them together and we used a hybrid that is IMF one and IMF two were added together and they were used. Then comes the ECG, then comes the PPG's IMFs. The first IMF clearly re resembling to the original signal of uh, PPG. So we used the first IMF from PPG signal. And we fused it and then we got the results. Then comes feature extraction. Feature extraction is a combination of time and frequency domain features. ECG and PPG signals were distinctive, distinguished. The four classes of emotions based on 35 different features were selected. The emotions in this case were overlapping as they were induced and were not pure and natural. As it is shown in the scatter plot that the disgust, fear, happy and sad emotions are described and the mean and standard deviation versus graph is plotted. Then comes classification and symbol bag trees is a strong and frequently used classifier in the biomedical signal analysis. And this research uses in symbol bag tree that is EBT for the classification of happy, sad, fear, and disgust emotions. Bagging and boosting techniques are used to produce diverse groups of ensembles of classifiers by utilizing the data trained in the learned classifier. Then comes the result. The performance evaluation over different classification methods were taken. Maximum results were obtained at EBD, that is ensemble bag trees. Maximum accuracy of 85.7% at five fold was used and it produced an accuracy of 85.7% and an error of 14.4% error was only obtained. The table clearly shows the classifiers, different classifiers and their accuracies at five fold, 10 folds and 15 fold cross validation. This clearly shows the class wise performance and the true positive and true negative rate confusion matrices of our disgust, fear, happy and sad emotions. Finally, concluding my presentation, this project is actually devoted to investigate, develop, and test the performance of automatic emotion recognition system, which would improve the human computer interaction. To assist the common people suffering from daily life problems, like people suffering from autism, who are unable to interpret their emotional state, we can use and detect their emotional state by using this software. Emotion acknowledgement systems can also be used by psychiatrists to counsel their patient's mental state. Multiple pre-processing techniques are used to filter out noise and the bioelectrical signals for true detection of the subject's emotional state. And total 35 features were extracted and symbol bag trees was used to train the system and the accuracy of 85.7% was obtained. These are some of the references. Thank you.